Hey guys, so I need to film a Pretties for Your Face update today because I've got a bunch of stuff that I've let like build up and haven't done an update in a little bit. Um, first of all, I will announce the winner of the last giveaway towards the end of this video. And like I said last time, I'm going to do a giveaway every time I do one of these videos just to show you guys my appreciation for you supporting my little makeup shop. So once again, I will pick someone from the comments. So all you have to do is leave a comment, whether it's about the makeup or whatever, um, and you can win a highlighter of your choice from my store. So I have some glitters, I have a new highlighter, and I have some eyeshadows to show you today. So I'm going to start with the glitters. Um, I do want to say I'm working on a palette that I'm super excited about. It's going to have a theme, I haven't announced it yet, but I've already picked out the colors. It's going to be a five pan palette. I'm working on the packaging right now, so hopefully I can release it soon. I'm hoping for like March. Um, if you want to see sneak peeks and stuff, the best place for that is Instagram because I kind of do it as I go. Um, but yeah, so, and the liquid lipsticks are coming soon too. Those should be available in March, by the end of March. Um, the first thing I'm going to do actually is put some glitter adhesive on. I use the LA Splash. It's called Splash Proof Sealer Eyeshadow Base, but it's really just a sticky glitter adhesive. I like this one because it works really well over eyeshadow without like taking off your eyeshadow that you just applied. So I'm going to put some of that on. I always recommend a glitter base even though you're using a pressed glitter because there's not really any adhesives in the pressed glitter. So two glitters that I have and they normally, they come in pots like this but this is just my tester so it's in a pan. Um, I have Posh, which is a black and silver glitter, and then I have Princess, which is a pink glitter. So they're super pretty, sparkly. If you like pressed glitters, you will definitely like these. Um, so let me show you Posh first. Just super, super duper sparkly. And I just got some on the paper here. but. With the glitter adhesive, you can get it totally opaque. That's why I recommend using one. So pretty. I just love black and silver together. That It's a very, like, would be awesome for New Year's Eve, even though that's already passed. But <laughs> and then the pink one. The pink one is just like a rosy pink, I would describe it as. And I'll put it right next to that because I got some glitter adhesive over here too. So those are the two new pressed glitters, Princess and Posh. I haven't been releasing too many new glitters because it's so hard to find um, find sol uh, solvent resistant ones. And if you don't know what that means, that's basically uh, if you have glitters that aren't solvent resistant, that's when you start getting like the ring around it that everybody thought was mold when glitter injections did it and stuff, and it's really not mold, it's just the glitter absorbing all the liquid ingredients and making that weird ring, so I don't want that, <laughs> so I'm only using glitters that are solvent resistant. So now I'll show the new highlighter. This one's called Flashy, and if you liked Jack Frost, I had to discontinue Jack Frost because that cream base that I used for it got discontinued, which is a bummer. So I tried to get as close as I could to Jack Frost because a lot of people loved that color. And this one is basically the same, it's just a more pink toned one. The Jack Frost one was very like cream, cream toned. So it still has that blue shift in it. If anything, I would say this one shows up more than the Jack Frost one. And then I will blend it out for you just so you can see. It's a very like icy, cool toned highlight. You can make it very, very wearable like that, or you can just wear it super heavy and have a crazy blue highlight. But I really like this one. It's very, um, 
It's a very versatile one that works on a lot of different skin tones. And I just smeared the glitter all over my hand. <laughs> Hold on, let me clean this off. I wiped it with the wrong side of the wipe. Okay, then we've got some eyeshadows to show you. So, um, let me do this first one is called Whiny, <laughs> W-I-N-E-Y, I thought that was a fun little play on words, but this is a deep, like, um, maroonish wine color, I don't know, it reminds me of wine, so I mean, that's why I called it that, <laughs> that's what that one looks like, and super pretty color, it's kind of... It's not really, it's more of like a satin finish, but it has a lot of pretty sparkle in it. So that's whiny. One that I was originally going to put this in my palette that I'm working on, but I ended up making a different color. So this now is just going to be a single shadow. This one is called Parfait, and it's like a peachy salmon color. Then you're probably not even going to be able to see this one on me because it's so light. Hopefully you can tell. Let's see. I'll try to do it with a brush too so you can see. It's kind of like, yeah, I guess a peachy salmon color is the best way to describe this. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see that a little bit better. I did put some primer on my my hand just so you can see it better. So that is Parfait. Like I said, that one was gonna be in my palette that I'm working on, but I ended up doing a different color for it. So um, the next shade, the next one I did and I kind of got this one dirty because I used it with a darker color on my brush. <laughs> but this one is called Butternut because it's the color of butternut squash. And this is another one that's pretty much matte. I'm going to do a finger swatch. Although the mattes, for some reason, the matte shadows are harder to finger swatch than brush swatch. doesn't really want to show up with a finger swatch. I think because it's kind of harder pressed into the pan than my shimmer shadows. But I will show you a brush swatch. So that is what butternut looks like. It's just kind of like a burnt orange color. It has a little bit of like shimmers in it, but it's pretty much a matte, like a semi-matte, I guess I'll call it. Um, I just like orange eyeshadows, especially in the crease, so I wanted to make another orangey one, because the only other orange I have in the shop is the one from the Halloween collection, and it's um, very shimmery, so I wanted more of a matte orange. All right, and then my last one, I actually just made this one today and then I decided to film a video. This one is called Sand This one is called Sand Dollar and it is such a pretty like sandy champagne color and it has a green shift to it. So I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it in the pan, but you can probably see it better when I swatch it on my finger. It's so pretty. Look at how crazy that is. And I will do it with a brush swatch too. The brush is kind of messing up the color because it still has orange on it. Hold on. <laughs> so here is a brush swatch that I'm probably going to have to build up a little bit. So, like, the green is very, um, it's very subtle. It's not 
really like super duochrome-y, but you can definitely see there's a bit of a green shift to it. This is probably my favorite that I've made in this little release here. But yeah, those are all the new goodies. So let me get everything in the shot here. We have princess pressed glitter, we have posh pressed glitter, we have flashy, the highlighter, we have whiny and parfait, butternut, and sand dollar. So those are all the new goodies that have recently been released in the shop. Um, uh, what was I going to say? These will be up after everything has been released. So, I mean, this video will be up after everything's been re released. So if you want any of these, you can go pick them up. Um, like I said, look for the palette soon and the liquid lipstick. So I will have new products in the store not just new colors of highlighters and eyeshadows. So I'm super excited about the stuff that's releasing soon. If you want to be entered into this video's giveaway for your choice of any highlighter from my shop, just leave a comment below and I will choose someone and it'll be announced in the next Produce For Your Face update. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video.